I love Icelandic puppies for their delicate and ethereal petals. They come in a range of colors from vibrant reds and oranges to soft pinks and yellows. These unique crates offer a great way to experiment with loose and expressive brush strokes. And here's a fascinating tidbit. Icelandic poppies are often referred to as focal flowers in a bouquet. So what does that mean for us as artists? It means that they command attention, becoming the visual anchor that captivates the viewer. We can paint them as single stems, a cluster of flowers, or be part of a larger floral arrangement. Join me today as I guide you through capturing the dreamy floral silhouettes of Icelandic poppies in watercolor. Hi, my name is Jolly and I'm a watercolor artist, online art educator, and a Skillshare top teacher with a decade of painting experience. My art revolves around painting watercolor flowers, creatively capturing nature on paper in a loose and expressive style. In my classes, I simplify challenging techniques into beginner-friendly steps. In this class, we will observe reference photos and do a quick sketch to better visualize the shape of this flower. Get ready to explore various angles, brush strokes, and different techniques that will transform your ability to paint any flower that catches your eye. But that's not all, you're also diving into shadows and layers, adding depth to those delicate petals. And I'll share a secret technique to make the center of the poppy stand out, elevating your watercolor game to new heights. For our project, we will start off with a vibrant small cluster of Icelandic poppies. We'll also begin by doing a thumbnail sketch to help you plan your painting and boost your confidence in painting on a larger scale. After that, we'll step it up a notch and we will transition to painting on a larger canvas that will enable us to place flowers more freely. This flexibility allows us to have a more dynamic composition. This class is ideal for beginners who are eager to enhance their skills in painting loose watercolor flowers. So the methods and techniques that you will learn in this class are not strictly for Icelandic poppies. You can definitely apply it to painting other flowers as well. I hope that you're excited to paint a new flower. So grab your brushes and let's get started. 